We are going to be learning how to create multiple users at the same time in your Microsoft 365 Admin Center using PowerShell script. So we're going to see how to manage bulk users. If, for example, you want to create multiple users for your organization, so they actually it's, it's actually the, uh, the the best practice is actually to use PowerShell instead of creating them individually. And also, you can see we also have the option called add multiple users here. And then here, we can actually just add the first name, last name, and just go on like that. But let me show you a different method we can. Let me just, uh, not, not now. Okay, let me just go to PowerShell, PowerShell script, and let me show you how we can actually add um, a single user using PowerShell or import multiple users using the PowerShell script. First of all, to be able to actually um, use the Azure um, AD to um, create a new user, what you want you want to, to do is the follow. You want to actually, let me just uh, create a space here. You want to actually uh, uh, just perform the following install model name Azure AD. I've already done this before. And then you want to actually import the model into your, into the, uh, the import the model Azure AD into your PowerShell. And after doing that, you definitely want to connect. So just let me just run the script. And then you want to connect to your Microsoft 365 tenant as your Azure tenant. And let me just enter my global admin name. I'll make sure you enter that very correct. If not, you're going to receive an error message. And then I'm going to enter my password. And then I can now sign in. So I'm going to skip this for now. And you can see by showing this, the account, that's the account name, that's the tenant, ID, the tenant ID, that's the tenant domain, that you can see that you've automatically signed in to your Azure Active Directory. And now here we have the script. I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going to be leaving the script actually in this video so you can actually see, use the same script if you are doing this in a, train, um, in a test environment or in a production environment. So here we go. You can see we have, first of all, we want to have a password profile. Uh, that's going to be the new object because you want to actually make sure that you have, you have a password for the user. So you can see the password profile here. We create a variable and then we set the password into that variable and then here's the password. It's actually a complex password. And now we're going to use the the PowerShell script in new Azure AD user. And here's going to be the, this is going to be the display display name, which is Simon Sales. And the given the display name is actually not that um, mandatory, but the given name uh, the given name and the surname is also not, also not mandatory. But the user's principal name is very very mandatory. So now we can now enter the user's principal name. That's the Simon Sales, and here you can see the given name and then the location you want to put is the US, and then the mail name. I'm going to change this to, uh, let me just change this to Simon.sales, and then you can see the, the password profile is going to be the password profile. The account enabled is going to be true, which means the account should be enabled when it is created. So I'm going to select this. So let me just run the script on its own. And if I go back again to my Office 365, you can see at this moment we are not seeing that account we are about to create it as a kind of Simon. So let me just run this. And here we go. You can see this is actually telling us without any error message that the account had just been created. So if I go back again to my tenant and I do a refresh, you might try to do a refresh multiple times for the account to display because this is going to take some time. So let's just try to do a refresh again and then do a refresh. Here we go. You can now see that Simon Sales have just been created and the account is on license. You can actually add the script to actually license the account. But for now, if you don't know the specific license the user will be using, you can just do this without the license. So if I go back again to my PowerShell, now if you want to actually use this, we are actually using the Azure Active Directory because if I go back again to my Azure Active Directory and also do a refresh, here we have our Simon Sales account, which is also which have been created. So if I go back again to PowerShell script here, you can see we have the um, the MS Microsoft Online. So we need to install this model. You need to run the script. Let me clear my screen. And then after which you need to connect to the Microsoft online service. Let me just connect. 
so I'm going to enter my email address as well and then click next then enter your password make sure your password is correct so I'm going to skip this for 11 days so right now you can see that this is actually connected so for example we can say okay i want to create this user called love lovet ramon and the first name as the last name of of um, lovet and as the user's principal name and the location is us so let me just go here and then let me just run the specific script of on number 16 and here we go you can see that lovet has been created so if i go back again to our script and i go to my Microsoft 365 Admin Center and I do a refresh just wait for some time here we go you can see that Lovet have just been created as Lovet Ramon but if for example we want to actually create multiple users so at this moment that's when the import that the CSV script comes in so for example I have a script here you can see this is actually a CSV file this had information we actually um, inserted into our CSV file. You can see that the user's principal name, the first name, the last name, the display name, the user location, and also the account SQUID. So right now you can see the user's principal name. That was the Kelv Global dot Microsoft dot com. That's the last name of the last name of the user and the first name and the user's display name so what you want to do right now is the following i'm um, you're going to save this file to a location and make sure that the location is actually actually because if you want to import the file the path should be very correct if not you're going to receive an error message and we're going to use the for each loop with a new microsoft user then we're going to import the display name and then all the information here will be displayed i'm going to leave this actually on my the description of this video so you can actually use it if you want and then we can actually export what we just created again back to the same location but with a different name so what we're going to do right now let me just try that and see i'm just going to run the script so if everything goes as planned we're not going to receive any error message and if you receive an error message which means that something went wrong so if i go back again to my microsoft 365 admin center and i do a refresh so this may also take some few seconds for the information so it takes some time for the information to be displayed but here we go you can see all the new users we just created out the cloudy um, line and also we have um, Sean so that's these are actually the new users we just created you can see they are all unlicensed and mind you you can actually modify the script by just adding extra users to it you can decide to just delete this this or do a copy paste and just add some extra users and then import it to your microsoft 365 but at the same time you can also use the same script for uh, subsequent creation of new accounts what you just need to do is to modify the display name the first name the user principal name and then you hit the script you can actually save the script to your um, to your network share by hitting the script button automatically it will actually be downloaded to your micro to be created to your microsoft 365 um admin center and if i go to if i go to azure um, active directory and i do a refresh here we go you can see all the users are, are just being created that have been created are now also being imported to our azure active directory so this is how you create and manage account using uh, microsoft powershell uh, to create multiple accounts or individual accounts to your microsoft 365 tenant